Hi guys, it's Brittany. Today I'm on my way to go collect some consignment stuff. I have two consigners that I sell for. What happened was about six years ago, my friend, she used to work for a consignment shop. She would go in there and she would pull any of the good stuff and she would sell it for them on eBay and then she would get a commission on it. And then she asked me one day, hey, do you want to come, come to the store? Do you want to start doing this? So I did. And we did that for a while. And then unfortunately, the store closed down just due to the health of the owner. And what happened was, is she asked some of the good consigners who didn't really even know us. She called them and said, hey, you know, this is closing down. Do you want us to still sell for you on eBay? And she just picked the good ones, like the ones that, you know, the nice people. So for a while, I sold for quite, you know, a lot of people. But because my house isn't that big, it became too much. So I decided to scale back and I only sell for two people. And I've been selling for them for for years now and my friend she sells for way more people she she has like over 20 consigners and if you want to look her up her store is star thrift llc 850 and you can see all the stuff she has listed which is a lot i think she's getting close to like 3,000 items i don't know there's a lot of items um so what we do for our consignment is we take all of the stuff we go do pickups like right now i'm about to go do a pickup and we list what we can like the consigners i have they're really cool like they're not saying oh how much can you get for this how much can you get for that and they're just like get what you can and what you and if you can't sell it just donate it so that's why i like them because you know, they know I'm trying to do the best job for them, but they're not expecting like their stuff to be worth gold or something, you know? So we sell for them and then we take away the eBay fees and the final value fee of what the item truly sold for, we get 40% of that. And then each month, my friend, she sends out checks to all the consigners and I send her the money for the two people that I sold for, like their cut, what she needs to send to them. So I'm gonna go do a pickup. And then when I get back, I'll do a short video on what kind of stuff I got. Some of it will be good, like higher end. Some of it may not be worth that much, but when you're doing consignment, you need to, pretty much we take it all, you know, and then sort it and then do what we can with it. And my, like advice if you're going to do consignment only consign for people who are nice and who understand that you know their stuff is not worth what they paid for it and they're not going to be up your butt you know harassing you because I did have one person that I met one time for consignment and she was literally like taking pictures of every item I took and I was like you don't even trust me and also she was complaining about another consignment store so I thought well this is going to be trouble she has like she thinks her stuff is worth thousands of dollars and it's literally not so that was the end of that I was like no I don't want to deal with that but anyways I'll be back in a second I gotta drive it's kind of it's like probably 35 minutes away so and then I gotta come back home so it's gonna take some time all right. Okay, I did my pickup and right now there's a train so I can't go. So um, I guess I forgot to mention like when I do my pickups for the one I just did now, my consigner, she leaves the stuff on the side of her house. It's normally covered with a tarp in case it rains and I just grab everything and then I go. My other consigner, I actually meet her at a grocery store. She meets me halfway from my house and her house and that's how I pick up that stuff. And this pickup, there's a lot of stuff. My trunk is completely full. My passenger side, the back seat's full. Honestly, I didn't even know if I was gonna be able to fit everything, but 
I've had way more than this. So I was like, eh, I'll shuffle things around and I was able to make it work. Um, let me see if I could show you just a little bit of the stuff. Okay, I'm back. And what's gonna happen with this stuff is half of it's gonna go to my friend who does consignment, the Star Thrift LLC, and I will take half of it. Um, I don't even honestly wanna bring my half or take half of it in my house right now because my partner, he, like when he knew I was going to do this pickup, he's like, well, where's all this stuff going? And I'm like, it's gonna go in the garage room. Don't worry about it. And he's like, we all go through that room. And he went on a rant, you know, because he cannot stand the stuff. And I did just spend two days prior, Friday, no, Thursday and Friday. And I bought, you know, kind of not like a ton of stuff, but I spent like $500 I've been buying to get more inventory. And now I have all this so i'll probably just be out here i'm probably gonna stay out here and show you some of the stuff instead of bringing it in my house so i don't get in trouble so then what do we have in here we have this just looks like halloween stuff nothing i don't know what that will sell for or if it will um we have Looks like a bag full of Longenberger baskets. So, oh, we got some bunny hair on it. Um, so there's a whole, are you filming this? There's a whole bag full of Longenberger. There's that pan. This looks like a blanket. Um, you can film in here, Emma. There's some bowl set right there. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Um, and here, there's just magic erasers. This just kind of shows you how random everything can be. Um, this looks like, look, and then you'll find like something like this which is McKinsey's Child, which is a really good brand. That's in this bag, so you never know what you're gonna find. Okay, Emma, pause it. Okay, so in this container, consigner has a bunch of purses. Um, so this is like a lug, another lug, lug. That's Amy, another lug. have to just clean up things a little bit. Here is a Dooney. Okay, you can and this, who is this by? Mr. Oliver's. I never heard of that one. She's never given us one of these. Back up a little bit. And we have this. It's pretty nice. That's Patricia Nash. So this kind of stuff here would be good for eBay. This is going to be all of this, all of these items will definitely go on eBay. All right, let's see what we got in the next one. We have randomness. Um, here comes, oh, I like that song, Here Comes the Sun. Now this has some marks on it, so that'll probably be more difficult to sell. Uh, like a brand new Vera Bradley purse and this looks like Patricia Nash to me I guarantee it is yeah Patricia Nash and then in the bottom of here I don't know if you can see we have like a Ryobi we have um, some like what do you call these oils and that kind of stuff. And this kind of stuff does sell like pretty good for her. Um, so we have that. Um, next. It's just a Bissell steam shot. Okay, and 
then I found this was in there. This is a Samantha Brown bag. Pretty nice. It's big for traveling. So it's definitely an eBay item that we will list for her. And then there's a bag of clothes, just random clothes in there. That'll probably be um, eBay. I guess let me pull there's a set of these. This is Temptations. It's Halloween theme. So as you can see, when you get consignment, it's gonna be a an array of items. Some is good. You can make money on eBay, and some you might have to do local or just donate. It's not gonna be worth your time. And yeah, I guess that's it for this pickup. Alright, that's it guys. Bye.